Hey there, this is John Lexo from Prosa Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to explain how you can use one of the most popular plugins for contact forms, which is called Contact Form 7 for WordPress. So, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can set up this plugin, install it, and also use the several options that come with this plugin. So, let's get started. <laughs> You must first go to your WordPress dashboard and once you are here, you want to go to the plugin section and just press add new. Then in the next page, you want to search for contact form 7, which is this. And you want to press enter. And you will see that the plugin is this first option that comes that appears in this listing I mean and you can read more details so you can get a bit more information about this plugin before you actually decide to install it into your WordPress website but this is a pretty good plugin especially when you are starting with a WordPress because it allows you to easily integrate a contact form uh, with plenty of options so it's it's really a good plugin for this so you just need to press install now and in the next page just press activate plugin so you can start using it in your website. So once that is done you will see that you have a new, a new section appearing on your sidebar and you can also go over here to contact form 7 and you can press settings to immediately go to its settings. Once you go to this page, you will see that you already have a contact form available. This is the contact form that comes with the installation of this plugin. And if you have a new website, very probably the contact form that they provide has all of the fields that you need. Anyway, I'm going to explain later on how you can edit the fields that you have in this contact form, how you can add new ones and also use other options. Okay, so once you over this contact form, you can see that you have two new options which you can choose. If you want, you can dupl duplicate this contact form. Basically, this means is you will create a new contact form with exactly the same options. And you can also click on edit so you can configure the options belonging to this contact form, which is something that I'm going to show to you later on. Anyway, you want to grab this short code and I'm actually going to immediately show to you how you can integrate a contact form into one of your pages. So you just grab this short code, you copy it, and you create a new page. And you can call this contact us or something similar. And if you want, you can put some basic instructions to your visitors, to your website visitors. And then below, you just paste the short code. This is basically all that you need to do so you can integrate, integrate a contact form into one of your pages. So now I'm just going to publish it. And I'm going to do a preview so you can get a better idea of how my contact form looks like. Okay, so this is how my contact form looks like has all of the standard fields that for most people who have new websites it's probably all that you need and basically the way that this works is someone goes to your website they go to this page because they want to contact you they want to send a message to you they put over here their name let's say Peter their email can be this one a subject line and then they write the message that they want to send to you and once they press this send button, you can see that they received this notification, meaning that their message was successfully sent. Then you as the, the author of the website, you will receive that message to your email inbox. So this is how the contact form works. Now you can change these fields over here and you can even change this last message 
that appears and that's exactly what I'm going to show to you now so let's go to the first page and let's go to this contact form and let's press edit in this page below you can see the structure of your contact form this coding is exactly what is generating this contact form inside of this page so this means that if, for example if you want to change the order of the fields let's say for example you want to ask that person's email address first and then next you want to ask that person's name so what you do is you just crop the section that you saw where there where you saw the the field for the name asking that person's name you just crop it and you just paste it below this coding because this coding is this first line is what is asking that person's name and the second line this is what is generating this field where that person your visitor can insert their name so once you do that you just need to press save and since this is the same shortcode which you have inside of this page once you refresh this page you can see that it automatically changes so now you can see that this question is appearing below the email address now you can also add different fields if you want let's say for example you want to ask that person's phone number so what you do is at least the easiest way is simply to copy one of these fields and paste it wherever you want let's say right below and what you need to do is change the first line because you don't want to ask that person's name once again so in this case your telephone number so this is the question and then below you need to change the field because this field is to get capture that person's name so you need to change this field and I'm just going to delete the field and now I'm going to choose another field so over here you have several options each different each tab is a different option which you can insert inside of your contact form in this case I want to ask that person's phone number so I'm going to select this option which is tell I'm going to click on it and you can see that a new window appears and I can make this a required field that means that that person really needs to answer that question so they can send a message to me so I'm going to make this a required field by, so by checking this option and then I just need to insert tag and you can see now I have a new tab a tag appearing and I just need to press save refresh my page and you can see your telephone number actually I didn't I misspelled this but it's your telephone number and then that person just needs to insert their, their phone number and you can see that once if someone goes over here and they insert their phone number but they decide to for some reason insert letters as their phone number and they press send you can see that they won't be able to send a message to me because this needs to be a real phone number and it cannot include letters because well no phone number has letters so this is something that is really good also you can insert other fields if you want let's say that you want to include a drop down menu and I'm once again I'm just going to copy and paste this piece of code right below and let's say that I'm going to ask this I'm going to ask that person what's your favorite fruit and I'm going to give them several options that they can choose from the listing so I'm just going to delete this piece of coding because I don't want to capture that person's phone number once again and I'm going to select this option called drop down menu now you can see this window and once again you have several similar options which you, sh you saw previously if you want to make this a required field you just check this first option and then inside of options each line that you put over here 
will be a different uh, choice that person will have inside of this listing. Let's say bananas, apples, oranges, and let's just leave it with three options. And now let's just press insert tag. And you can see that now I have a new field, a new tag appearing. And once I press save and refresh my page, now you can see what's your favorite fruit. And that person can select one of these options in this listing. And once they send this message, I will be able to see their answer, the answer that they give, gave to this question inside of my email inbox. So this is just a few things that you can do. You have other options which you can choose from. And I would say that this first tab, this first section is one of the most important ones that you will find inside of this Contact Form 7 plugin. So let's go to the another section, to the mail section. In your mail section, you can change the information from the message that you will receive later on into your email inbox. So this is the message that your visitor sends to you. If you want to change, for example, you want to receive your visitor's message to another email address, you can change it over here just by putting the email address where you want to receive your messages. You can also put some extra information in this field so if you want to change the subject line or if you want to change um, inside of the message body body if you want to include more information you can also do that by writing whatever you want and it's important to notice that this information uh, you will be the only person able to see it so you can write whatever you want this is not exactly the most important sections section and you just need to press save once you're done Let's go to the messages tab. And these are all of the different messages that your visitors will be able to see once they take action in your contact form. If once they send the, the, um, the contact form to you and it was successful, this is the message that they will see. Your message was sent successfully, thanks. And you actually saw this previously when I sent a message to my email inbox. You can also customize this, this if you want with whatever line you want to be shown to your visitor. So you can change each field. You just need to read each field carefully and put the message that you prefer your visitors to see. So once you have everything done, you just need to press save. And that's basically all that you need to know about Contact Form 7. Also, you have some additional settings. And if you want to learn more about ad the additional settings that you can configure, you just click on this link and you are able to read this page where they have some extra information that you can insert inside of your contact form 7 but with the standard configuration and with what I explain I for most people out there with their new websites and so on it will be enough so that is all for this video I hope you enjoy please subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress about SEO how to make money online and much more so stay there stay tuned with pro tutorials and bye